Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be talking about one of the possibly the best route in Madden 20. I don't know if this route is in different formations, but I know last year and the year before that there was a route similar to this. And unfortunately for me, it is in the same formation that I used to run this out last year as well. We're going to be looking at the gun split offset formation out of the Saints playbook, which is already one of the most dominant playbooks in the game. So we're just typically making we're just making it a little bit better than it already was. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, dislike the video, interact with it some type of way. And if you guys want to see anything specific on the channel, make sure you comment down below on what that is. Now, we're going to be looking at the gun split offset formation. Now, this is the this is an unbumpable route. You can't it, it does not matter how good your cornerback is, how strong he is, what his press rating is. You cannot bump this route. Now, I'm going to actually take the liberty of putting I don't think True Font is actually in the game, so we're going to put True Font here. And I guess we can leave Isaiah Oliver on the right on the left side. We're going to put True Font on Ted Ginn in this specific formation just to showcase how dominant of a play this is now we're going to be coming out of cover one robert press this is you can't you can't press this route now let's take the offense let's move it back a little bit because we want we want ted Ginn to have enough room to blow right past him now i'm going to showcase both sides of the ball right now we got michael thomas on the left side and then we have Trufant on the right side, okay? Michael Thomas obviously is going to burn that guy because simply it's Michael Thomas and that Oliver guy is, has has no chance to press him. So you've seen how how bad it, how bad he, he pressed him on that last one. Again, he gets he burns him again. But on the right side, there is no press. Ted Ginn is getting a free release on Desmond Trufant every single time. Now, obviously, since he is faster, he's going to be able to get those rack ags, those rack in in animations. Unfortunately for us, Desmond Trufant is fast enough to catch up to that. But again, soon as he soon as he does that, we're there burning him over the top. And Trufant in Madden is actually one of the better cornerbacks. Now, this this is simply one of those things where you want a speedster in this formation. As you can see, the left side with Michael Thomas, he actually gets bumped. You get that little you get that little animation where he has to be his man on that in that position. Now, if you if there was like a Jalen Ramsey there, this would be a completely different situation because his press rating is way better. He's just a better cornerback than whoever this Oliver guy is. And on the right side, we have Trufant on Ted Ginn Jr., who isn't the best, but again, you get a free release. It's like a baby wheel route that is um you can't it's unguardable. It's a baby wheel route that if your guy is faster, you're pretty much going to burn him almost every single time. Ted Ginn doesn't have the best route route uh, stats, but still, we're getting past this Desmond Trufant, who's actually one of the, I believe he's one of the, one of the, uh, not, uh, f one of the Falcons' X Factor players, not X Factors, but su but superstar players. But again. You could just do that to him all day and get this rack egg. Now, the faster that guy is, the faster that release is going to be where he literally just breaks off of that person over and over and over again. And it looks like your simple fade. Now, let's put Michael Thomas on the, the baby fade that they put in the game this year. And look, it looks almost the same, but that Ted Ginn one is so much better. And he still gets bumped on that outside route while Ted Ginn is literally just getting over the top getting that rack ad constantly, consistently. They cannot press you. One of the best routes in the game. Hopefully this tip helps you guys out that are running the Saints playbook. I'm pretty sure that this that this this route is in other playbooks. I will have to double check and find out which which formations it, it's actually in. And once I do, I'll bring that to you guys as well. I just for I just remember that this formation had a route and I just didn't think that it actually worked just as well as it did. I'm actually going to run it two more times, and I'm going to flip the play so we can run it one time with Michael Thomas to see how bad the other guy gets burnt. So we're going to flip it, and now Ted Ginn is going to get absolutely jammed up because it's Desmond Trufant, and then this Michael Thomas is going to be able to like get a free release and absolutely burn that guy. Look, look, look how bad Michael Thomas just burned him. 
add this play to your arsenal because it's definitely one of the best routes in the game, especially with the man coverage meta where a lot of people are starting to blitz people. Look, free release, darts up, nothing but separation. And on this side, you got Ted Ginn, who was just burning Desmond Trufant, who cannot look. He's on his hip the whole time. <laughs> he is just simply not a strong enough wide wide receiver to get past Desmond Trufant. But with that free release, we're able to do so. Hopefully, the, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tip. Hopefully this guy this tip helped you guys out, especially if you guys are running the Saints playbook because we just made that playbook this much more deadly. Um, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will be back with another video. As always, you guys, two fingers, deuces, peace.